Hi, welcome to MSA. We've been providing sophisticated safety equipment and personal protective equipment to the Australian industries now for over 50 years. Our range covers mining, oil and gas, safety and emergency services as well as general industry. Throughout the range we cover all products from head to, to toe, including head protection, eye protection, gas detection, sophisticated SCBA and rescue fall arrest systems. MSA is renowned for its technology and its advances in safety. So today we're uh, showcasing the fixed gas and flame detection range that MSA offers and it's, it's built around the human analog system. So what we're looking at here is using the sensors of smell, of hearing and of sight. So if we look at detectors such as these, we're looking at our smell sensors, being able to smell the gas, detect the gas at the unit. Then we go to sophistication of being able to hear the gas. So these types of units use ultrasonic or sound waves to hear leaks in pipes. It's able to detect a leak without necessarily seeing the gas. And then we move into very uh, technically advanced flame detection systems which use predictive analogues to detect the early presence of flame. So that's using our sight sense to determine the presence of a potential hazard. All of these products work in sophisticated conjunction and include products such as laser detecting, gas detection systems for detecting large clouds of dilute gas, working together as an integrated system to give protection across the entire range of potential hazards in an oil and gas or mining facility. The most common hazard in confined spaces is the risk of atmospheric contamination. To handle that, what is typically used these days are multi-gas detectors, four and five gas detectors. And what we have here is a combination test and maintenance system and gas detector. So in essence, what this system does is it looks at the detector itself and quickly examines the detector for compliance. Being fully automated, there's no particular sophistication required in understanding how it works, and as you see, the system has automatically initiated a calibration and test. The beauty of this is that in an area where there is no level of easy escape, the system's able to give you quick and early prediction of, of safety in the environment. So what you've seen there is it's been applying zero gas and making sure that it's all zeroed. Now it's applying reactive gas and displaying the readings that the instrument is actually seeing of the gas. Those readings need to match what is in the cylinder. And at the end of the calibration procedure, once it's stabilised, the system will automatically update the sensors to ensure that the system is always reading accurately. One of the other important considerations is during our calibration procedure, we provide a two-point calibration on oxygen. So you'll note that at the low level, we've also calibrated the unit. That's really important because oxygen sensors detect from a high level, normal air, to a low level. And a lot of calibration procedures don't reflect the importance of having a low level calibration. As you can see, it's past the instrument and full calibration details of what the instrument was reading before and what it's reading now have been recorded and in the event that this is connected to a printer can be printed straight out or downloaded at a later date out of the instrument database. One of the other instru uh, instruments that we provide is the Altair 5X and one of the, the critical innovations that MSA has entered into these instruments is a large graphical display. In recognition that a lot of our workforce are getting older and it's hard to read small displays, we've introduced a, a simple colour wheel where green is healthy, yellow is warning and red is an alarm system to allow an easy recognition of not only the alarm level but also displaying in large integers the value. One of the critical things about this system is each cylinder that's provided comes with an automatic RFID tag which automatically updates the expiry date of the cylinder, the pressure of the cylinder and gives a fail safe system to ensure that the calibration gas is always in date. In addition to that, once the cylinder reaches a lower pressure or before it reaches a low pressure, 
or the expiry date, the system will automatically email the users to tell them that their reference gases are going out of spec. One of the other innovations of the instruments was the introduction of a tick mark introduced by MSA approximately two years ago. The purpose of the tick mark is to, to assure the user that the instrument has been tested and is fully compliant with MSA's quality assurance rules as being accurate at the time of usage. That tick mark will remain there for up to 24 hours or in the event of a failed calibration where it will be removed.